everyone. How you guys doing? Uh, I see that I'm live. I want to make sure that we are good to go. I'm going to check my phone to see if you guys see what I see. And I'm going to make sure I do some sharing also, okay? And I want to make sure you guys can hear me. So let me make sure all that is going pretty good. Let me check. Because I should be hearing myself through. Okay. So just bear with me just one second. Hearing myself through. Yeah, you guys can hear me. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Okay, so I'm going to do some sharing real quick. Yeah, you guys can hear me. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Okay, so I'm going to do some sharing quick. Y'all hear that feedback. Hey, Desiree, how you doing? Okay, so I need to turn this down. Okay. All right, so we are going to be rocking and rolling today. I am going to share my screen and you're going to be able to see my picture, like, you know, a little, uh, a little box at the top. And um, so if you guys can go ahead and make sure you're in like a good space that you can at least hear me or watch me. Uh, if something does happen somewhere in the broadcast and maybe you uh, you have to step away or phone call comes through, whatever, just know that this will be up for the next 24 hours. Uh, if you are not on my email list, because I typically send a link out to my email list, if you're not on my email list, go ahead and send me a message, uh, a direct message in my Facebook with your email address and so that I can put you on my list so that you will always get the replay links of any and any, any, any of my video trainings, okay? And also, if you guys, uh, as you guys are popping in, go ahead and hit the share button because sharing is caring. I really appreciate that. Uh, I think there's a lot of other people who want to know about how to run a Facebook ad on a very small budget. So I'm pretty sure you're not the only one. So go ahead and hit the share button. I really appreciate that, okay? All right, so I'm gonna go and jump right into it. Uh, please bear with me, I am using a new system that I tried to test out beforehand so that I don't stumble over anything, but I'm going to be looking at your comments. So if you guys can't see what I think you should be seeing, please, please let me know in the comments so that I can fix it. Okay. So right now what I'm going to do is I am going to share my screen with you right now. So let me make sure this goes okay. And share my entire screen. And I'm going to hide this and I am going to minimize this, minimize this. Okay, so you guys right now should see my little messy screen. <laughs> Excuse the mess. So let me make sure I see what you guys see. Hello, Miss uh, Deeply Rooted. Thank you for joining me. Awesome. All right. So you guys are seeing what I'm seeing. So here's what, what you're going to need. Again, for those of you who are just hopping on today, I'm going to talk about how to advertise on Facebook with a very small budget. Now, before you even start to advertise, there's some things that you definitely need to have already in place. Okay. Let me move this over a little bit. So if I can make this a little wider, there it goes. And let's make this a little bigger so you guys can see. So what you definitely need to have in place before you start running a Facebook ad is that you need to have a Facebook business page. Now, Facebook business page is the one that people have to like, okay? Not someone that you have to friend or follow. I think it's friend on your personal page. And then on your business page, it's like. So if you do not have a business page, I'm going to say you need, 
not going to say. You need to have a business page to run a Facebook ad. You need to also have a business page, Facebook business page, if you're going to run ads on Instagram also, okay? Or you need to have a business page on Instagram. But the topic that we're going to talk about is Facebook. I might throw a little bit of Instagram in there, but the topic is all about Facebook, okay? You're going to also need a free offer. What do I mean by free offer? You need to have, um, a lot of times, you know, we think we should want to add straight to, to something for people to buy. And that's not really a good game plan because a lot of times people need to get to know you and trust you first. And so you can mix it up. But I think for your first time, I would not send someone to uh, go buy something directly, not anything not anything over $25, okay? Let me just say that. So if you just like, I want to try this out and I want to see if people are going to buy my stuff, then I would say nothing over $25, okay? But typically where you start, where you're going to get your biggest success from is having some type of free offer. Now for my coaches out there, my business coaches and my consultants, your free offer might be a free workshop or webinar that you're given and you want people to opt in to sign up so that they can get that webinar or a free course. Uh, sometimes you see a lot of people offer free ebooks, how to ebooks. Uh, you might offer a free consultation if you do one on one coaching with people. You can offer that also for people to sign up, but you want to have some kind of free offer that you actually get that person to click on your link they give you your name and email address right and then you deliver what you said that you was going to deliver to them so that's what you want want to start off with and again the reason why is the free offer is a way to build trust with your potential clients or customers now if you have a physical product okay or if you you like I don't I'm not a coach but I got like I'm like I'm a designer or I have I'm a jury maker what do I offer Well your free offer could be like a coupon of something like that maybe $20 off $30 off uh, it needs to be a really good discount okay Don't do that 5% and that 10% off because that's not worth anything so I mean honestly if I see 10% off I'm like Okay, that's, you know, that's like a dollar or two dollars off. That's not really a biggie. So if you want to actually get people to pay attention to you, you want them to become customers, you want to give a good, healthy uh, discount, $30 off. You might be like, oh my gosh, $30 off. But basically, when you're running your first ad, you want your product, that, that free offer or that low dollar offer to pay for your ads. You're not really trying to make money off ads, right? So I know that might not make sense, but trust me on this, right? Keep your, your products very low or have a free offer, okay? So if I'm making sense, let me know I'm making sense and put, you know, yeah, girl, I got it. I got it. I'm following you so far. Put a emoji in the comments or just say, yes, I got it. The third thing that you have to have is a positive mindset because i know out there on facebook there are people who are talking junk about facebook ads they don't work they spend a lot of money people want you to pay to play blah 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 but guys this is the most effective and most inexpensive way to get your products and services in front of the most people out there i know the old-fashioned way is still out there radio ads um television spots and those type of things and putting your, your name in a directory. That's all good and dandy, uh, but you don't, you don't know how, how do I want to say, you don't know what the results are and you don't know if they're working quick enough. You can run an ad in one day and with 24 hours, you'll know that people want what you have to offer in 24 hours and you're only going to spend $5, $5. So I don't think there's nothing out there like this. Facebook has made this very possible and very easy for us small business owners to actually start playing with the big dogs, okay? So, so that's why I wanna share this with you today is show you how to do that. So the third thing is positive mindset. And the fourth thing is to at least have a $5 budget, okay? I know we can spend at least $5, $5 a day. That's all. This is about five dollars a day, and that's just to you know to you to, to get your toe wet. If you can set a budget of thirty dollars a week, that is awesome. That's high five. That is well good enough. 
Um, some of you might say $30 is a lot a week, but if you're selling a product, okay, you're running a, you know, creating a sales funnel or something, something and you're selling a product that, you know, down the line costs a hundred dollars and you get three or four people to buy, you make $300 and you only spent $30 a week in ads. Uh, I pay that every single day, right? I pay that in a heartbeat. If someone said you pay $30 a week, I'm going to give you $300. Because that's basically how working and using Facebook ads work. Okay? So Facebook business page is what you're going to need. You're going to need some kind of free offer or a very, very low dollar offer. You're going to have a positive mindset to say, I can do this. This is going to be easy. I can make this work for my business. And the fourth thing is that you want to have at least a $5 budget. Are we good? Are we good on that? Let me, let me, let me know if we're good on that. Okay. Give me some high fives. Give me some, you know, haze and waves. <laughs> Let me know, okay? All right, so what am I going to cover? I'm going to talk about uh, eight things. We're going to talk about basic mistakes. We're going to talk about what makes a good example, good ad example. Uh, the third thing is that we're going to create an ad with an existing post from an existing post. And what I mean is in a post that's already on your business page. We're going to talk about ad objective the audience, you know, creating this audience, a budget, the estimated people that you could reach with your budget, and the payment method, okay? And then, of course, I got a little homework for you because that's the professor in me, right? <laughs> All right, so let's get into it. I'm not going to waste your time. So let's minimize it. Well, let's pop this up. And I know you guys are seeing some stuff. Oh, I got my page up already. All right. So here is my business page. This is my business page. You, you can tell you on a, a business page. I don't even see the like button. It looks a little different. Where's the like button? I guess because I've already liked my page, the like button. But you know you're on a business page when it looks like this. Uh, it has this on the side, this bar on the side, this type of things because I'm on my business page. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Deeply rooted. Awesome. All right, so on your business page, you are uh, you should be posting, okay? And as you can see, I'm gonna show you a couple of my posts right now. So this is a Facebook Live that I did last week. If you didn't catch that one, that was what, what to post on Facebook when you don't know what to post. Go to my page and check that out. If you missed that one, that was a really good one. Um, that's the one I just did today. Okay, so this is a post that posted five hours ago. So these are posts that are already on my page. You see, you see, most of you know my posts are, are very visual. They have some kind of graphic along with them. So when you're posting things, I want you to do that too. So what we're gonna do is one of the, the basic mistakes that most people make when they're getting ready to run an ad, especially like the boost, because a lot of times you, you see like messages pop up in your message box from Facebook telling you to boost stuff and stuff like that, right? But what they don't tell you in those boosts, because they pick the ones that have gotten a lot of reach to it and they tell you to boost it. Well, what you what most people do is they'll go ahead and boost it. So let's say I go ahead and I boost this this uh this particular post that i've done this existing post on my page and i'm going to click on the boost uh post because boost posts are facebook advertisement the boost post makes it easy for the newbie and this is why i'm creating this particular training because this is for the newbie so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna click post boost post if i can get the words out boost post and guys this is what i want you to see Right now, this little yellow warning uh, bar at the top says your ad reach might be lower, right? And the reason why this ad reach is going to be lower is because this ad has a lot of text on the picture. Now, this is one of the biggest mistakes, and they all, everyone blames Facebook because it is, in, in some instance, it is their fault, but they just don't want the feed to be so heavy advertisement light, right? They want it to be more of a natural kind of way. So this post right here will be considered 
uh, will not get a lot of reach. I mean, they will take my money, right? But it will not reach a lot of people. It's because it has a whole lot of text on it, right? So I need to find a text or create a graphic that has a little bit of text on it. And I'm going to show you what that looks like. Um, you can also select this bar and ask them to review it. They will look at it and let you know. But once they have this up here, it's really telling you that the ad has too much text on it, okay? But they do provide, I'm gonna cancel this. Facebook does provide a, a tool to check to see if your graphic has too much text on it. Like it'll give you, um, a percentage, like they give you a little, like, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? <laughs> well, shoot, I can't think of the word. I just show you. So if you go to, if you go to Google and search for text overlay tool, text overlay tool, I'm going to put it in the comments section. Text overlay tool. If you do a Google search for that, uh, this will pop up. So this is facebook.com forward slash ads, forward slash tools, forward slash text, uh, underscore overlay. It will then allow you to upload an image. So you can upload one. So let's upload, let's upload this one. Okay. I know this is not going to add, I want you to see. Thank you, Irene, for sharing. So when you upload this picture, oh, I uploaded this a few minutes ago and it told me not. <laughs> so it says that this image is okay to run as an ad. See, it gave me a, a, um, a green check mark to say this will be okay. So I could upload this image into my uh, Facebook business page, write a little text under it and run it as an ad. I got the okay for this to go. Typically, if it doesn't, go it's going to give me these warning signs it's going to say image text is low or it's going to say image text medium and mean image text high anytime it's in this medium and high it, it's not even if you get any of these warning signs it is not worth running an ad when you see that because it is just not going to get enough reach for you okay so remember that so that's the biggest mistake that i see most people do when they're running an ad uh, a couple of days ago, I was um, uh, I went to a networking event, and uh, when you introduce yourself, I talk about that I'm a I'm, I run a, a marketing agency, a content marketing agency, and people perk up when they hear that. And this lady immediately came over to me to ask me about Facebook ads, right? And she said that she ran this ad and it didn't go through, like Facebook just denied it. And so when she showed me the image, I immediately knew what it was. It was full of text it had a lot of writing on it and a, and a little graphic immediately facebook is going to deny that because again it looks too addy right does it look ad enough is that a word addy <laughs> so let me show you what a good ad is right so these will be too much now this would be a good ad it doesn't have any text on it it could be a picture like it could, it, this particular is a picture of myself but you can have a picture of your product with no words on it and you are going to uh, rely on the text in the description box to actually describe what the picture is so this will definitely run just fine and matter of fact pictures or images that don't have any text on it Facebook absolutely loves because then the ad looks more natural. It looks like it's part of the news feed without all the text on top of it. So, of course, that would be okay. Let's go down to one. This one, if I try to run an ad with this one, this one would get denied because this has too much text on it. So, let's go down to one. This one will run pretty okay because it only has a little bit of text on it. But I want to show you one that I did run an ad with. Hold on one second. Uh, it's down here. All right. So this is the one I actually ran an ad with. And basically, it was to promote my last week's uh, Facebook, um, my, my last week Facebook Live training. 
And I, if you can look at, I want you to look at this one. Look at, this one's a lot bigger than this one, right? I made the text a lot smaller, but you still can read it. You still can read it. And this one allowed me to run an ad. So this is when you see this, you won't see this unless you were like an administrator of my page. But this lets you know that I boosted this ad on May the 19th, okay? And it reached 296 people. Now, I only spent $5 and it reached, um, you, as you see, you see when I hover over it, organically, and organic means it did not, I didn't put no money behind it. It only reached 86 people. The paid version, I actually got this in front of 210 people. And this really helped me out. That's a small number compared to that I have uh, almost 6,000 people on my page who like my page. That's a very small number, but I would rather for them to reach my target audience that I actually want to see my ad than just everybody. And we're gonna talk about that in just one second, okay? So this is what makes a really good ad. Now. Let's move to objective number three of today. And the objective number three is how to create an ad with an existing post, okay? So are we, are we good, everybody? Are we good? I just wanna make sure I'm not going too fast for you, right? But I don't wanna waste your time either today. So let's look at a post that I'm gonna run. Thought I chose one. So an existing post, we're gonna choose to boost an ad all that I've already posted. And you can boost, you can go all the way down if you want to. Okay. I thought I had one. So we're gonna go with this one. We're going with this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and boost this. So you click on the boost button. Now, the first thing that's going to pop up, it's going to say, welcome back, Elise. It's going to say, welcome back to me because I've been running the ads. But the second thing, and this is new, okay? They did not have this. When, well, let me just say this. When, when Facebook first initially introduced the Boost ad, it did not have all these capabilities. It did not have all these capabilities at the beginning of this year at all. So a lot of times you're going to hear people say, don't boost the ad, don't boost the ad, don't boost the ad. And that is further from the truth when you know what your objective is, okay? So if you're a little bit more advanced, then I would say, no, I don't want you to boost the ad. Go and use Facebook Ads Manager, but that's a total, totally different training, okay? That's a totally different training that you have to be comfortable with boosting the ad before we even get close to trying to uh, explain the advanced level of running an ad, okay? So what you wanna do, once you get your little welcome message, you want to choose what your objective is going to be. So I'm gonna click on change so you can see. There are two objectives. One objective is engagement. You want reactions, you want comments, you want shares. Or do you want messages? Do you want people to engage with you uh, who would chat with you or potentially send you a message in your direct, um, your direct message box? I always choose reaction, comments, and shares. I'm gonna hit save. And the reason why I choose this method is because the more comments, reactions, and I mean, reactions could be likes, they could be shares, they could be comments that they leave underneath the post, the more Facebook is going to show your ad to those type of people, okay? So that's the reason why I choose engagement. Um, this time, uh, the beginning of this year, to January, or was it February, 2018, Facebook put out a notice that there are gonna be two things that they're going to show more in the feed. They're gonna show posts that have a lot of engagement in the news feed more often, and those who are using video. In particular, live video. So if you're doing a live video or if you want, if you got a post that has a lot of comments, a lot of engagement, then Facebook is going to show that up in more news feeds. So just think about it. When you see people who have just gotten engaged and you see everyone who's writing, congratulations, congratulations, da, da, da. You see that in your feed for about three to four days, right? That's because that post got a lot of comments and a lot of engagement. So Facebook is going to show it and show it and continue to show it. So that's the, that's the objective that you definitely want to choose is the engagement, the reaction, comments, and shares, okay? Once you've chosen that, 
you want to go down here and you want to, you can't add a button and uh, you get the choice of shop now, book now. So if you guys are offering a very low dollar offer, if you want someone to uh, request a discovery call for you or something like that, you can select these buttons. I tend not to put those on there because they tend to start looking like an ad. Okay. If I want someone to take action, I put the link in my description up here. So I put a link in the description and I actually tell them to click the link in the description. Okay. And Facebook likes that. Okay. Um, so the next thing we're going to talk about is your audience. Now, this is where the power is. This is where the bang, bang. <laughs> I can be so silly sometimes. This is where the, the action really happens because now you get to target who sees this ad, okay? A year ago, this did not exist on Facebook uh, Booster Ad at all. You had to do it in the ads manager to even do this. But lo and behold, they have all, all opened it up to the newbies to do the same thing. So what you want to do is that you definitely want to, well, let's go through this real quick. So the audience that tends to pop up is going to people you choose through targeting or people who like your page or people who like your page and their friends. Now, people who like your page and their friends is a powerful one, especially if you just started your business page. Because if you were, have been very selective of the people who've liked your page, then you know like attracts like. So if those people who have liked your page are your uh, ideal clients, then their friends are going to be your ideal clients too. So people who've liked your page and their friends will be the ideal uh, button to choose if you have a really target audience on your business page. Now for me, because I've been on Facebook since two, uh, 2005, I think. No, has it been that long? It's been a long time. I know that my business page has a mix of a little bit of everybody. So I, yeah, I love my people who like my page, but I really want to target and niche my audience a lot more. Uh, you also have custom audience, life coaches. These are the, 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 the audiences that I've already created. So for you, you're probably going to only have these three options. So what you're going to do is say, choose people you choose through targeting and hit edit. Okay. With that, here's what happens. Or you don't have, if you don't want to hit, if this doesn't pop up for you, then click on create a new audience. So let's do create a new audience. So if you guys are familiar with um, customer profiles, or um, I know Desiree, you should be because I taught you how to create your, your customer profile. This is basically you creating your customer profile. So what you want to do is go ahead and name your customer, your custom audience. So I'm going to say testing for live. You can name yours like life coaches, or you can name women under 45, or you can give her a name like Ashley, you know, people who fit into your Ashley customer avatar. You can then select the gender, gen gender, <laughs> gender. <laughs> um, you can select all, both men and women. Or you can just select women or just men, just depending on what your product is. Because I am um, um, a marketing coach and a branding coach to women entrepreneurs, I tend to want to show my products and services in front of women. My target audience is always between the ages of 30 and about 55. You can always change yours, okay? Um, I, you want to keep it within a 20-year range. Do not do 18 to 70 right? That is too wide of an audience. You want to keep it narrowed down. Um, the second thing is that you want to choose where you want this to show. Now, you can say United States. You can even get even more specific and choose your location. Like, I can just put in Charlotte, North Carolina, and it would select Charlotte, North Carolina. It would show within a 25-mile radius of Charlotte, North Carolina, or I can increase it to a 50 mile radius. So this is a really good option for those of you who are in the local market. When you want to show your products and services to the local area, like you have a restaurant or you have a boutique, 
uh, great. But most of us, most of the people I deal with, they are online. So I would not target this. Oh, this would be great too if you're doing an event that you want people to show up for. Okay? It's getting a little hot. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to exit that out. And I'm just going to put the United States. But you can choose... You can choose Canada, you can choose all over. Now here's this other goodie that I absolutely love. You can also include pages that other people have liked, okay? What do I mean by that? So let me see if I can pull that up for you real quick. So you know, we tend to like pages like, like music or we like certain books. So what you would do is start to ask your target audience or your ideal client exactly what pages or groups do they follow. So where do I find that at? Um, let's say, let's click on music. So you can actually type in a couple of names of people in this box. So maybe I put in, did y'all see LL Cool J? Okay, see if that pops up. So I can select LL Cool J. Uh, I also like uh, Beyonce. I hope I spell that right. I'm Beyonce. See if her page pops up. Beyonce News, Beyonce. Oh, that just went away. Let's choose another person, uh, Chanel Cooper. Yep. So some of these pages won't pop up. So this is really, this is how you start to target it even more. So basically what I'm doing, I'm creating an audience of women between the ages of 30 and 55 who live in the United States who like LL Cool J and Chanel Cooper sites, okay? I've created this audience and below it's going to tell you that I have a potential reach of 750,000 people to reach on, on, on Facebook. This is all over Facebook, all on Facebook, right? Not just my like page, not just my page, but the whole Facebook community. I have a uh, potential reach of 750,000 people, okay? So once you've done that, you hit save. And now this is the audience that I've collected, right? That I've built. So I'm gonna make sure this is selected. And then my next step is, you want to also look to see if you want to run this ad on Instagram, okay? This is really important. Hey, Kimberly. <laughs> um, this is really important because what I've noticed, if you run it on Instagram, it is going to charge you for two budgets. So if you have a $5 budget for Facebook, it's going to charge you for another $5 budget for Instagram. So be really aware of this. So it's basically saying you got to have a $10 budget for the day. So I'm going to click this off because I do not want it to run on, on Instagram. You can create, I will create a separate ad for Instagram so that I can see my results a little better. Then you want to select your budget. Now note that you can change this. I know if you hit the um, the the down button, whatever that button is called, the arrow button, they give you $5, $10, $20, but you can also choose your own budget. But if I'm gonna run a budget for $5 a day, my potential reach is going to be 192 to 880 people, okay? Now, if I decided to run like $300 a day, which I'm not going to do today, uh, you see that my potential reach can be a whole lot higher. So the more money you spend, the more potential reach that your, um, your ad can um, get in front of, okay? You can also choose your own. You don't have to run a $5 budget. You can run a $2 budget, okay? You can do that. And you can see the estimated potential Reach could be between 79 people to 410 people per day, okay? That's the potential reach. And basically, a lot of times, um, you can sort of say that with this $2 budget, I'm probably going to reach about 100 people, okay? We're about $2 a day. You can also choose to run this budget for one day, okay? So if I run it for one day, it's going to spend the whole $2 in one day. 
or I can choose to run it for two days. So let's put Saturday. And then it's only going to spend $1 per day. Y'all see what I mean? Now, if I try to run it for seven days, um, the average spin, I, I, I'm surprised because typically it says the minimum should be a dollar a day. Um, but I think the minimum should that you should spend, you, your total budget has to be at least a dollar, okay? If I run it for seven days, that means that it's going to take that $2 and, and divide it up into seven, which is only going to give me 28 cents per day, which that's not even worth it, right? I'd rather run it for one day, okay? Once you've done that, um, if you want to add a Facebook pixel, that is definitely in the advanced level of running an ad, okay? And we'll talk about that in a second. Um, but you don't have to worry about that with pixels. The big thing is, is creating a special audience. This is where you're going to get the biggest bang for your book, okay? You can also look at it and see what your ad is going to look like in the mobile news feed. Okay, so this means what it, people are going to see on their phone. And then you can, if you ran it on Instagram, it will show you if it was, if you selected Instagram. Let me go up here and select Instagram. So if I said I wanted to run it on Instagram, you can actually see what it would look like on Instagram also. Now let's talk about the mobile feed. Um, over, they say the estimate is that over 40% of people who are on Facebook have only open Facebook up on their phone. So y'all got to think about that. A lot of people look at Facebook strictly from their phone. So you want to make sure that your graphic looks good for someone who might see it on your on their phone only. Now, I'm a, I, I, I mean, I go through both. I use my phone. I use my laptop. I use my tablet. So I'm one of those people who have all the devices up. But most of the people who are a lot younger than myself, okay, you guys know I'm 40, I'm 47, right? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> the people are probably in their 20s or in their 30s. They tend to probably are looking at Facebook strictly from their phone. So be mindful of that when you're creating your posts. So once you're satisfied with everything, you've checked your budget. Right now, you see that I'm running it only for $2 a day. Once you've done that, you're going to hit boost. Now, I'm not going to boost this ad because I don't want to boost it. And Facebook is going to send you a notification to let you know that your ad has been approved. Now, if you follow all these steps and you make sure your graphic is good, you don't have a lot of, you know, you don't have the warning sign, then less than 30 minutes, sometimes it's like a minute, they will approve your ad. They'll let you know. If it takes longer than, like I would say, about three hours, then you can probably almost guarantee that they're they're going to deny your ad. But sometimes, sometimes on busy holidays like Black Fridays and, you know, when a lot of sales are going on, it might take them a little longer to approve it anyway. So maybe three hours is not a good uh, indicator. But typically, I get a response back that my ad has been approved within about 10 to 15 minutes, okay? So that is, oh, the last thing is your payment method. I'm sorry. Um, you can change this. I pay through PayPal. You can have a credit card on hand. And let's talk about this real quick. I think that's where people get really afraid because they are afraid that um, they're just going to charge and charge and keep charging your account and you don't have any control of that. Well, as you see, I've set this to $2 a day. They're not going to spend over $2, okay? They're not, most of the time, they don't even spend the whole $2, right? They might spend $1.98 of it. But they also do not charge you the same day. They charge you after the fact, okay? They do not charge you before the ad runs. They charge you after the ad has ran, okay? Does that make sense? So um, I have it set up that anytime I run an ad, they send me an invoice 30 days later. They don't send me an invoice. They just charge my PayPal account 30 days after that, okay? So 30 days, I can run as many ads as I want to, but I got to be mindful of how much I'm spending because at the end of those 30 days, uh, Facebook is going to charge my PayPal account, which is a, is connected to my business account. So just be mindful of that. They do not charge before. They charge your card or your account after the ad has ran, okay? All right. 
So after you've set all that up, you hit the boost, and I'm not going to boost it. You'll get an approval and uh, within 10 or 15 minutes, and you are set to go. The thing that you will want to do after the ad has been approved is that you want to start looking at your results. You want to look at your reach, and you want to see how well it did, how many likes you got, how many post clicks you got on the link, um, uh, how many people you reach. So for me in this ad, I just want to um, have this ad in more people's feed. I wanted more people to see it. Um, you see that I don't have a, a blue link inside of the description at all uh, because I didn't have anything for them to link on. I wanted them to see this and I wanted them to hop on on Tuesday at two o'clock to watch me live and it worked, okay? I had probably the most people that I've ever had show up on my Facebook live at two o'clock, right, to show up because of this. So note that, that you got to know what your objective is. Do you want to be seen more in the feed so you can build your brand, or is it to sell more of your products and services? And if that's the case, if you're gonna boost your ad, then I will say, you know, you wanna send people to, to buy something, keep it under the $25 range, okay? Um, that's just my, my goal, you know, that's my saying. You can try to send people to somewhere a little, you know, for a higher price, but 25 tends to be the, like, the going rate that people tend to spend going straight to, from Facebook to a sales page. Hope that makes sense. Okay. Awesome. So here's what your homework is, because y'all know that I like to give some homework. So let me stop sharing my screen. All right, well, let me share the homework. So your homework is, if you do not have a, a free offer, I want you to create a free offer, right? If you need a free offer, if you're a business coach and you have no idea how to create a, uh, a free offer, then I definitely want you to look at the Lady Boss Club. I do offer free, mark, not free, Kim, but I offer marketing content to help you build your free offer. That could be a webinar, that can be a training course, that can be an ebook that you can create, it can be blog posts that you can send people to and you have them actually download that they can read, it can be checklists that you can create, um, it can be graphics, those type of things. But check out the Lady Boss Club. You can go to ladybossclub.com and check out the um, this month's uh, free, not free, uh, marketing packages, right? So that's your homework. Create your first $5 ad this weekend and then send me a message sharing your results. I want to know how well did you do. I want to know if you have any questions at all about um, what, what you did, uh, how things went. Let me go to my Blue Jeans page. Hit stop sharing. All right, so you guys can see me. <laughs> Um, I want to hear all about this. And for those of you who have stayed on with me right to the end, here's what I am going to do. The, I want you to go ahead and put in a smiley face emoji in the comment section. And I am going to choose one person from the comments area to offer them a free coaching session on one of your ads. I am going to help you and walk you step by step to set up your first ad. But you gotta put a smiley face emoji in the comment section. And I am going to choose one person from the comments area to win a free, free coaching session with me as I walk you through the uh, to set up your first ad. Okay, that is a $297 value that I am going to give you for free. So again, I need a smiley face in the emoji, a smiley face emoji in the comment section. And I am going to choose the one person from the comment section for a free coaching session with me as I walk you through step by step with your first Facebook ad. All right. So guys, I want to say thank you so much for joining me. Uh, today, uh, if you have any kind of questions uh, about this, go ahead and send it to um, send me a direct message. If you want to make sure you you know you hopped on last and you want to make sure you get the replay, send me your email address and a direct message, and then I will definitely put you on the list. 
so that you can get the link for the replay. Awesome. All right, guys. So you guys have an awesome and blessed day. And I will be talking to you later. Peace out.